the Acharya, the Rasik Jana, is saying that sometimes Krishna's kundala are completely visible. And that when, in what circumstance, and one has to recollect and think on oh, this leela and that leela, or partially visible, or completely covered by locks of hair. Sometimes the earrings are stationary, or slightly moving, or completely agitated. In this way, Krishna's kundala, which are mentioned in the verse, earrings, reveal various types of beauty. Tava kundala shri. That's why he's giving some comment on the shri. In other words, the verse says, Tava kundala shri gandha staladhara. So the translation is, Shri, be- your, just says your beautiful earrings. Shri. So then, what does Shri mean? So then he says, in all these different ways, because Shri means beautiful, but what type, what, and what ways are Krishna's earrings beautiful? In what ways are Krishna's earrings beautiful? One uh, devotee friend of mine, he was, he came once to see me and he was describing, well, when Krishna's go, I mean, when Radharani is going on Abhisar, and you're in your Mandri Srup, and you're following her, carrying a tray of Seva paraphernalia, what is what are you saying to Radharani at that time? And and, and what is and what is Radharani thinking? Yeah, he was asking me these questions, and then and then he was showing me, he was teaching me that he had learned from his teacher to to enter into the all these ways of thinking and asking questions, and then he said, as you practice like this, then you'll be able to enter deeper into the lila, into the heart of Radharani and feelings of Radharani. Because the Raghunuga Bhakta, the Gaudiya Vaishnava, is meant to absorb himself in Gopi Bhav and absorb himself in the heart and feelings of Radharani, ultimately. Radha Sneha Adik. We have extra attachment and affection for Radharani. 